Hey, all right, welcome everybody. Um, so this is um, the second in a series of live broadcasts that are coming to you from the Business Leaders New Zealand Facebook group. Uh, New Zealand uh, Business Leaders kicked off uh, the end of 2016, uh, originally on LinkedIn, where it now hosts several hundred uh, business leaders. Uh, from New Zealand and beyond. And so it's my absolute pleasure today to introduce Scott Wilson from Digital Influence. So, Scott, welcome. Hey, Matt. How you going, man? Thanks for having me. It's awesome to be here. Hey. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um, no, it's good to have you too, buddy. Um, now, I've been uh, lucky enough to know Scott now for, gosh, the best part of a year, maybe a bit longer now. Um, Scott, you're based here in Christchurch, as am I. Um, would you like yeah. to maybe give us a bit of a, a background story as to who you are and uh, what you're all about. Yeah, totally. Hey, uh, firstly, thank you for having me on and uh, great to be able to share some value with you with your members today. So um, I own a company called uh, Digital Influence. Uh, we um, have offices in the high street in uh, in the city. Um, we, we look after a, a wide range of uh, clients uh, looking after their digital marketing. Um, I guess we kind of specialize in the messenger side of marketing. Um, you know, mm -hmm. we saw where technology was going as far as you know, how many people are on their phones. So, so we have um, a bunch of products that uh, work with messenger uh, to build databases um, and customer lists um, and then help our clients generate sales now and in the future um, to maximize, um, you know, what they do for people. Um, and, and that works really well. My background, uh, I guess, uh, self-taught uh, marketing, didn't didn't get a university degree. I failed English and maths at school, so I wasn't allowed to go to university. But I have a passion just for helping people, uh, making the, the technology side of marketing simple for business owners. Um, and because of my uh, background in direct response marketing, um, I'm really focused on, okay, if you give me a dollar, how do you get two, three, four, five back uh, in the mm. test and measuring side of, of um, you know, marketing, which is, you know, so important these days. So too many people are spending money on, on digital marketing and, and marketing and not testing it. Um, and yeah. from my background in, in direct response, you know, we used to test everything. Um, and, you know, so so you knew, hey, if you spent a dollar here, how much you were making. And, you know, I believe the internet, you know, it's transparent and it should be, right? So they're kind of on a mission to to make sure that business owners know that they can be tracking, they can be testing, they can be measuring. Um, and, then, you know, that's going to be, it's important now, but it's even more important in the future. Um, and yeah. it's going to get tough out there for people. Yeah, it sure is. Um, obviously, mm. everyone's been hit really hard by the, the COVID-19, the level four response. Yeah. Hopefully, we're moving down the down into level three in the in the foreseeable. But um, I mean, there's a lot of people hurting out there. Um, yeah, totally. I know, um, uh, digital influence has had uh, a, a large impact in the uh, the restaurant uh, in the the service sector over the last few mm. years. And I imagine a lot of your client base right now are, are in uh, real dire straits. So yeah. Um, how how is digital influence um, uh, responding to the current status right now? Yeah, I guess you know there's, there's, it's a really interesting one, you know, because a lot of them obviously you know just can't do anything, right? And so we've actually just been supporting them, um, you know, giving them ideas, giving them content, giving them things that they can be doing, you know. So so you know, we're quite fortunate. We've got a number of different niche markets that we deal in, and so so a lot of our clients are still advertising, but that hospitality sector definitely, um, you know, everything just stopped for them. But one of the things, you know, my brain's always thinking, hey, what can you do, right? So so one of the products that we've got is a is a database building. Uh, tool that allows you to build an audience by giving value in advance um, and we can go through some of the, the strategies um, that we've helped uh, clients with but but uh, you know a number of them that are doing it right now and um, you know they're building audiences so when they come out of lockdown or also now you know um, we've set up through messenger once again through mobile technology uh, we've set up a voucher system for some of our clients and now so now they're selling vouchers to those databases that they've built up over the years so they've got money coming in, um, which is you know, which is which is great. So even though they're not open, you still can do stuff. Um, you just have to be prepared to think differently, um, and, and and that's what you know. That's how we've helped a number of those clients. Um, it's still rough for them though. Like I really feel sorry for you know businesses that can't open and can't do anything. It's you know it's 
it's um you know as a business owner myself you know you feel that pain eh? because um yeah. you know, oh, totally. yeah, especially you know like i learned a lot from the earthquakes you know mm. and doing business in the earthquakes because once again we you know the business has got flipped right like turned upside down and in in, in in a in a heartbeat and um you know, some of those lessons today are standing, you know, in good stead uh, for helping businesses now. The the hard part about right now is um, everyone's in the same boat to some degree, right? So, so it's um, where before you could, um, you know, if you were in Christchurch, you should still go and do business elsewhere. So, yeah, definitely, um, definitely feel for those guys. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, for for you, um, uh, I'd love to hear your advice on this. Uh, you, you've kind of picked on it already, but I, I imagine for many businesses right now. Um, that they've probably uh, either done one of two things. They've either gone into hibernation and just don't know what to do or um, are being incredibly busy but maybe um, not being um, smart with the energy and the time that they're dedicating right now. Yeah. So yeah. for those that, you know, maybe for the small to medium-sized businesses right now, what, what would be some of the top tips or advice that you would give them um, to try and make the most out of this this moment in time? Definitely, um, you know, definitely planning, right? So, so you know, we, we're talking to all the people that we're talking to right now, especially if we're doing strategy with them. Uh, you've got to have a plan for 30, 60, 90, six months. So, so 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, six months to a year, okay? And keep that relatively fluid as far as, as, what, as, far as what you need to achieve and what you want to achieve, you know, and, and make sure, you know, that includes good sound financials, right? Um, but then look at, okay, well, you know, and I think this is really important for businesses to 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 look at. Okay, what is the problems that I'm that I'm that I'm I'm solving right now? Right? Okay, for for my clients, you know, because um, people people need a plan, right? So so what are those what are those things that you're doing? Um, and and are you defining them? You know, are you defining that problem that you solve in the marketplace? Get really clear on that, and then you can move forward, right? So so. Um, I think a lot of people um, are still thinking maybe in advertising like they or, or thinking they can, they can run the same advertising like they were pre this whole crisis. It's not going to happen. It's, it's, you're not going to win that way. So you actually have to think a bit more strategic about that and then create some content. Um, but the only thing with creating content, content's not going to get you out of this crisis, right? You're going to have to advertise. So you're going to have to build a marketing system. Um, so right now we're, we're talking to businesses on how you build your marketing system out because you are going to have to, if, if to compete, um, you know, you are going to have to put some advertising dollars towards that. But hey, you can do that in a, in, in, you know, a, probably a better way than you've you done it in the past, especially using and leveraging tools like video, um, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, that type of stuff where people, where the actual eyeballs are as well. Um, so um that's definitely some of the things but think short-term thinking but also with a long-term focus is really important right now i've, I've seen a lot of um articles I, I think i've even seen yourself comment on this on linkedin recently where they are um where they're Obviously, um, where um, the big players have, have pulled uh, their funding in social yeah. media spend, is this now is this now a really good time for the, the smaller players, uh, individuals like myself? To yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's a good to time to it's, look, get involved. It's a good time. It's a good time to build an audience, right? So, so um, you know, like uh, we we did a webinar last week, right? We we we, we marketed it. You know, we got a bunch of people on that webinar, and we built an audience by giving value. OK, so it's a really good opportunity. If you know you've got some knowledge inside your head, it's a really good opportunity to build an audience. It's because, it, you know, some of those bigger players have come out of the market. Right. Uh, we know one of our um, our clients, their biggest competitors to stop all advertising. Right. Um, so we've got a free run right now. And, and advertising is cheaper at the moment. Um, is it going to stay that way? No. And I've been saying this in my seminars and webinars for the last three years you know the time is coming when these big boys are going to come in and, and you start seeing the when you start seeing the banks insurance companies all that start advertising on these social media you know they 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 have big 
big buckets to spend, you know. So so now's a good time. Uh, build your audience. Give value. Uh, figure out what your you – know, if you've defined those problems of what your audience, you know, um, has, you know, then talk to those problems, right? Create content based on those problems and actually how you help people. Um, you know, we know one of our – one of our, our target markets, you know, they struggle with having a marketing system and building a marketing system. So we, we're talking about how to build marketing systems, um, how to leverage the technology. Technology, um, because you know that's that's what people want help with right now. They need new business. Um, so, so yes, it is. Um, look, you know, it, it's not a, it's not probably not a time to be really, you know, um, going hard trying to advertise uh, as far as you know um, selling stuff. But you can do it in a cool way. Like I, one of the things that I really want businesses to 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 know, uh, and I learned this. I learned this years ago uh, in the recessions and in the earthquakes, and it was made really, really clear to me in the last couple of weeks, is you must, your marketing must attract the committed and push away the interested. Um, you know, and, and that's really, so so create content, create information that will attract people that will be committed to you, you know, to your, to what you've got to say, will buy into what you've got to say, uh, and then push away the interested because you're going to waste a lot of time with those people. So, and they're going to waste your time, you know, more and more people like right now. It's interesting. You got some. You got builders and all that type of stuff on on here. Um, you know more than even now. People are going to consume content and hoard it. Right? They're going to hoard that information, just like they've been hoarding toilet paper. Right? They've been. You know, people are in that hoarding phase, um, and and they they're gonna they're gonna take longer to make decisions. You know, and they're gonna want to know. Uh, you know, are you the real deal? Can you be the real deal that can help me? They're gonna want to see all your testimonials. They're probably gonna want to talk to some of your past customers. Customers. They're going to want to see your content and, and figure out, you know, the, are these guys um, legit? You know, they're going to take more time. They're going to not want to know if you have a guarantee. They want to know if you're getting the best deal. Um, you know, it, it's you're going to have to sharpen your sword with all this type of stuff um, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's it's more about survival. Yes, there'll be people um, people uh, making decisions and buying things. But they're not going to buy it like they used to, you know. When when all money was free and flowing and all that sort of stuff, there'll be less buyers. So so you want to make sure that your marketing and and what you're talking and and how you're presenting yourself um, is lifted up another notch because because everyone's going to be competing um, for for those buyers, right? Sure, uh, and I think it's it's safe to say that there will be a, a period once we move from level four into level three, and then hopefully further down that 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 chain uh where there will be a flurry of activity and a flurry of um uh, leads um and new business for, for for many businesses in new zealand now i was really fortunate um about a year ago i got to meet yourself and the team sit around a table and and really do a bit of a, a deep dive into what mm. uh, my business are up to there was some really massive aha moments for for us uh, particularly around the way in which we were um presenting our material the way in which we were packaging it and the way in which we were um selling it really um, yeah it was a big eye-opener for me so uh, are you happy to um just kind of walk us through some of the process some of the uh the, the, the structure in which you take uh new clients new business uh, through yeah totally Cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, that was a good session. You know, we love doing our strategy sessions with uh, with clients um, because you know I, I really believe you know you've got to you've got to figure out where you can win. You know, I um, we we've actually built a whole system around this, and 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 one of the keys to it is what I call the GPS strategy. Um, you know, and and I always ask people, and I probably would ask you this: Why is the GPS so successful in getting you to where you want to go? Um, and, and it's always interesting because people will say, oh, because you put in where you want to go and all that sort of stuff. And, and I believe in business, you need a GPS strategy because I spoke to most business owners and they kind of they kind of have an idea of where they want to go. They know what success kind of looks like. Um, but the reason a GPS is so successful in getting you to your location is actually it knows where you are. Uh, at any one time, it knows where you are. And so what we do is we help businesses and business owners get really clear on where they are 
from a marketing perspective you know um what is your what does your website look like how's that performing get really clear uh on that marketing asset you know what's your what's your social media strategy look like okay what are your competitors looks what does your competitors websites look like what is your competitors strategy session what are their offers you know what are they saying in the marketplace that's different than you you know getting really really clear on where you are is is going to like in the next six months that's going to be so important the next year it's going to be so important you you and then we figure out okay once we've got that clear we figure out where you can win okay so where you can win is okay let's let's nail down your strategy then let's look at your messaging let's look at your positioning let's look at the offers you have in the marketplace all this type of stuff about where you can win and create it create that whole um uh, strategy around that so that when you go out to the marketplace and we have a formula that we use called the relevancy formula which is consistency message plus frequency of reach to create relevancy which is probably one of the most important things you need to create is you need to be relevant at the right time for the people that are consuming your content and putting their hands up you need to be relevant but then there's consistency of message is really really important you know and and I would have said this in our strategy session with you when I say the word um, if I say the word soft drink, you automatically think of Coca-Cola. Yep. And if I say the if I say the word fast food, you automatically think of McDonald's. Yep. And I, if I say the word um, health and safety uh, providers, oh, advanced safety. Yeah. And if I say the word um, cars, say cars. 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 Uh, Ford. Yeah. If I say uh, hairdresser. Ooh. Um, gosh, just cuts. Mm. See how, see how, like from McDonald's and Coca Cola own mind share. Okay, mm. and it's my firm belief to 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 grow market share. You must grow mind share. Now I say this all the time at our seminars and all in, in strategy sessions with people. You know, Coke and and uh, McDonald's own everyone's mind share really, really fast. The fact is, they spent like billions of dollars to do it. Well. Here's what most people don't realize right now. You have your own TV network, you know, mm -hmm. Facebook, all this type of stuff is your own TV network. You have the ability with good strategy to own a market and a mind share for people, right? And, and there's never been a better time to do this, you know, but you have to get your consistency and message right, okay? That's really key. And then you amplify it through frequency of reach by using ab actually advertising or use a paid and unpaid strategy. But I tell you what, the, the, you know, and I get it. I get why people are doing content and all this sort of stuff. But if you really want to go fast in the business, spend advertising money and, and test and measure that because that then becomes a system that you can replicate and scale to go faster. So um, that's what we do with our, with our clients is we, we, we help them get all that ready so that when they go to the marketplace, we've got a real chance of winning. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, you do a lot of public talks, a lot of seminars, um, uh, online webinars. I was lucky enough to attend one of your recent events on online. Um, now, I, I imagine uh, you must see this all the time where people make notes. They've got all the best intentions. They then get a bit lost yep. and it just falls over. Um, so is, is it still a case of just get out there, give it a go um, and, and you know see what works? Or is mm. it... Or is I don't it now? Do, like I think it used to be, not now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you tell know? me more about that. Yeah. Because because here's the thing. Um, what's what's one thing we've all got at the moment is a bit more time, right? And probably more time and, than than money for some people. But but look, you know, the market is going to get brutal, um, and it's going to be a time where you're going to have to leverage experts. You know, if you want to win in your marketplace. Um, you know, we've got two levels of clients. We've got a, a level where we just do it for our clients. Um, and, and, you know, they understand the value of paying to get the result. Because at the end of the day, they just want the result, right? They're not, they're not, they're not paying us because we're nice guys. They're paying us because we deliver a result to them. Um, then we have another part of our business, which we're opening up uh, now, is an educational side of things. Because we realize not everyone can afford to pay what, what we charge. Mm -hmm. So so rather than them go to, um, you know, and go out there in the marketplace and, and have a go themselves, we actually want to educate people now. We're going to, we're putting people on webinars and training courses to actually educate them. One of our, one of our core values is world-class training, world-class outcomes. So we're committed to actually helping, you know, 
you know, our knowledge of, of, of understanding of marketing and, and of the algorithms and, and, and advertising, we've got a lot of knowledge in that area. And, but we also had friends with a lot of knowledge. So we bring them everyone together to educate the marketplace, to lift everyone up, because it's probably not a good time to go alone. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just seeing some stuff the other day, mm -hmm. some, some people, you know, kind of gone alone and, you know, spending decent money every month and, and they're getting nothing in return, you know, and, and it's costing them. And they wanted to know why. And I was like, well, look, you know what you've done is okay but you're not tracking anything you're not measuring anything you know all this sort of stuff should be you should be able to track this no if you give that um you know facebook or google a dollar how much you're getting back you know and and yeah so it's not a time to go alone and um you know that was like in the earthquakes it's it, you know we built a mastermind group back in those days and um you know that was really well received because um people want to be around people and get ideas and all that sort of stuff so we're bringing that sort of community uh, uh in as well so um yeah. no, I know, you know, people get people get stuck as well right like you know that probably the a lot of the conversations I've had recently um, is just, hey, Scott, what do we do? You know, we, mm. we, you know, it's, we, you know, we don't actually have a plan and all well, the plan we had has gone, got flipped. You know, I wrote an article about marketing being flipped, completely has been flipped. Yeah, absolutely. Um, where everyone's attention's online. I think everyone's faces are just stuck in Facebook right now. And I think it's been like that for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just a, a safe space to go to, really. Um, uh, even we're seeing the likes of uh, MediaWorks and uh, TV and Z uh, grumbling and bemoaning that um, taxpayers' money is going to social media uh, advertising rather than their advertising revenue, which is so yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think what perhaps what COVID's doing is um, it's forcing us along that evolutionary uh, journey. I think we're actually finding ourselves probably a few years ahead of where we were a few weeks ago. Um, yeah. Well, what, one of the keys to modern marketing is to create conversations that create conversions, right? Yeah. So, so I learned this a few years ago, and and when I really started to think about it. You know that that's that's like it's kind of like how you do business normally. You have conversations with people, you build rapport, and a lot of the advertising now is you know from a traditional sense is just like smash, 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 you know, in your face mm -hmm. uh, type stuff, which does create some repetition. Um, but when you can mix it with creating conversations uh, and has still have that reach, you can really amplify what you're doing. And, and I don't think the, the traditional media doesn't have the ability to create that conversation like you can with the social platforms, you know. Um, so so that's why they're struggling, right? Because, you know, they, they, they're probably a little bit jealous of the reach that, um, that everyone else, all these other platforms have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Um, your talk about um, being able to have the data and the the analytics behind every dollar spend that that interests me a lot because, I, like myself, like I'm sure, like many many others out there who have thrown good money at Facebook advertising, Google advertising, um, but not necessarily tracking uh, the return on investment. Um, yeah, it's yeah. I totally get your point that now, if you haven't done it before, is the time to uh, lean on the experts. And, and so also yeah. do your due diligence where you actually are dealing with experts. I'm sure mm. you must see this all the time where there's so-called social media gurus who, you know, will fix everything for you and charge you top dollar, but actually the results are zero. Um, yeah. Is, is there... Is there anything in within your industry that you would say to people you should ask for evidence of, or um, is, is there even an industry, um, a, a group or organization that you should be a member of? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Look, there's, there's, I guess there's not really, um, you know, obviously there's a marketing association and that sort of stuff. For me personally, yeah. I just hand my phone over and say, call these clients. Mm -hmm. You know, nice. like if anyone wants to track, anyone wants to ask us, um, you know, you can call our clients. I reckon that's probably the best mm -hmm. thing to do and get, you know, mm -hmm. call five, call six, whatever. Like if, if you're, if you, yeah. and also you can tell from like having meetings and, and talking to people whether, you know, whether they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, they're, yeah. Like the, 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 the challenge with this industry um, is the barrier to entry is so easy. You know, anyone with a, anyone with a laptop can can open up and get going right um mm -hmm. you know but look just look at how long people have been around um you know and and 
and I, like for me personally, um, because I'm a, a business owner, I understand business. You know, this is my third business. Um, I built up and sold other business. I, I understand business, and I think that's the, you know, the techy side is, is great and all that sort of stuff. But if you understand mm. business, and you, you know, you'll know from dealing with a professional. Like I know, you know, the top media sales guy at MediaWorks, right? You sit down with him in a client meeting, the, the guy just knows business and he knows yeah. actually, you know, and we were actually talking about this the other day, you know, because of, you know, the, the, the recession coming, you're going to have mm-hmm. to use professionals, man. You, you, you and Because if you don't, you know, you, one of the things is you, you're not getting to get the value for your money in the advertising market. You know, you're going to, you're going to actually have to deal with people that, that, that have been around and know what they're doing, um, you know. Uh, have a few bruises on themselves, you know, and that's that's a, a big thing. Um, yeah. But to your point, yeah, I, I would I would ask ring up clients, and then also you can kind of tell some of the people. You know, I was watching stuff the other day, so this yeah. guy was talking about stuff. I was like, oh my god, what are you talking about? That is just so wrong. And then you go to their Facebook page, and or you go to their website, no Facebook pixel, and all this sort of stuff. And you know, it, it is um, you do hear. Like the people will watch this, some digital marketers will watch this, and you'll he- end up hearing them talk about, um, you know, they'll start, you know, saying what I've been saying. I, I see that, you know, not that I want to be like ego or anything, but that happens all the time as well because we do seminars. We get a bunch of people, yep. the digital marketing companies will come along, and then they'll start talking about, you know, what I've, what we've been saying. So it does happen, and you know. Um, yeah. I, I was wary of people that just say about content right now as well. You know, yeah. John, just put out content, just put out content. No, no, no. You can't just put out content. You got to go yeah. fast. You got to advertise. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I guess it's, it's uh, again, going back to what you said about having, having those bruises, having those scars of being out there doing it. Um, mm. Really just kind of, it's almost like a bit of a scrap in the street in terms of learning your trade. Um, whereas, I, like you say, it's so easy for others, so-called experts, to simply just grab and nab um, what they're hearing at the time, then try and. To well, there's a saying that I learned, learned years and years ago: in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Mm. And and you know, you, know, you talk to some of these business owners, and I feel sorry for them because they're just good at what they do, right? They're good at the whack and the cracking, and then they just yeah. believe that the person that's coming along is telling them what they want to hear, right? So, so you know. Um, but I think a lot of the, you know, like a lot of industries, people are going to get found out, right? You know, so, and, you know, because because people are going to make, will be, you know, really doing their homework to see if they're going to do business with the right people. And the good thing is mm-hmm. we're going to educate more people as well. So more businesses coming in, getting educated in a one-to-many environment, that way yep. they'll ask better questions. That's, that's, you know, I would love it if everyone that was going to do digital marketing before they chose the company mm-hmm. just ask to ring five of their clients mm. you know yeah. they'll probably solve a lot of the you know sure a lot sure of the would. issues yeah absolutely no, i think it's such a, a great kind of benchmark standard to aim for actually i think it's awesome um yeah, yeah. What, what one of the key things for me is if i ask someone who is a subject matter expert and no matter what it is if they if they can't tell me what they do or explain to me something that um, isn't simple to understand within a few sentences, then I, I haven't got time for them. Um, yeah, you know, they, they clearly don't know enough to be able to to um, teach me or help help me in my business. Yeah, um, and I think you're absolutely right. Also, in that this time, uh, this period is going to expose um, those who perhaps ought not to be out there giving expert advice on whatever it is they are happening to to be selling. Uh, I see it yeah. all the time too. Yes. Yeah. So it's a really interesting time. It's almost like um, the shine. It's, it's shining a light and exposing people's strengths and weaknesses. I think it's almost we're going to see um, those who are really good at what they do um, rise to the top over the next few weeks, months, years ahead. Um, yeah. yeah. It's interesting times for sure. So yeah, yeah man. Uh, so in terms of digital influence, like moving forward, um, uh, have you got any? Uh, plans bubbling away and uh, how you're going to bring in or um, assist those that are looking for more um, from digital influence. Obviously, you're talking about the, the mentoring and the training uh, program. Is, is yeah. that likely to be in the near future? Uh, sorry, what was that? 
is that likely to be launched in the near future? Have you got plans? Yeah, so so we've launched um, we've launched one of our coaching programs around Messenger. Um, yep. We decided, you know, we've got a product there as far as you know. Mm-hmm it doesn't rely on a business being open um so so what we did is we launched that via a webinar uh and then put a you know a bunch of business owners into that course so that's a course that people are going through we teach them how to build a marketing system using messenger marketing in a, in a specific tool but we're also um uh, on putting together another course um, around digital marketing and marketing uh, and then bringing in some experts um, that we have uh, really good relationships with um, to teach some of that sort of stuff as well and also have my team. That'll be more of a, like a mastermind group um, where we'll bring business owners together uh, to, to one, educate them um, uh, on, on what to do, but also bring in a mastermind and, and teach a, you know, um, a group together, uh, so they can help each other, um, but also really refine their their digital marketing uh, skills for their business. Uh, so that's cool. And then I guess that you know we, we're stepping up our strategy um, as far as our strategy. Um, you know, um, you've been through it, the, you know, the whole three-hour process. We refined that a little bit. Um, we've got that a lot more clear for, for business owners and we've added, um, you know, we've added some other sections to it. Um, so we're also, we've got that on the, um, what's it called, the Regional Business Partners Network as well. Um, mm-hmm. So so people can get funding uh, for for that uh, program as well. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's something and, and cause everything for us does start with that strategy. So we won't actually take a client on, uh, until you've been through that, um, whole process. Um, and, and the reason for that is we want to make sure we've got a chance of winning, um, with you. Right. Um, so, and, and, you know, for, for uh, you've been through that process, it's a, it's quite an intense process, um, to get you ready to 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 go to battle right um and 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 it makes you think about your business in different ways that you've never thought about because i find a lot of business owners they they're very good at what they do but when it comes to marketing um it's kind of a you know and we make you think about your business totally different uh and then you know we we bring the game uh, to that as well because we think differently like marketers think differently um and i couldn't do what you do you do that really well but i i can amplify what you do so it's a, it's a beautiful balance um but we we won't take on a client without um, them going through that process um yeah. mainly because you, you you just it's too hard otherwise you know um yeah. and we've got to know we've got to get to know your business we've got to get to know you you've got to know if you can actually sell at the end of this as well you know there's no point us doing all the marketing uh and then you can't sell right so we have some things in there that can help people um generate you know more sales um and look at on our website it says it's pretty clear we partner with our clients to make them even more successful um Mm -hmm. that's so true for us you know like we we partner with our clients it's it's a it's it's you know, it's our purpose, and we take that really seriously. Just like we take all our core values really seriously, um, and it's 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 you know, there's no point and there's no point doing business with people that you're not going to get on with, you're not going to like. So, um, and and you don't think you've got an opportunity to make them, um, you know, help them, or you figure out that they're kind of not coachable or they're not decisive enough, and you know that's not going to work either. So, so that's why we put everyone through that process. Yeah, it's a great process. Um, it, it fundamentally shifted how we were um, approaching clients and, and putting ourselves out there in terms of marketing and, and um, storytelling. Um, yeah, I remember, I remember something that we went through was, uh, you know, spending too much time in front of people, right? Like, uh, and, and then picking your brains, you know, and, and a simple thing, we, we taught you how to triage those people, you know, like how to take it from, you know, a, a, a still a nice conversation, but it's 20 minutes versus them taking you taking 60 minutes of your time, right? Um, and this is what's going to be so important in the future, right? Because people are going to come to you and they're going to want to suck everything out of you, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you actually have to have some skills to, to go through, hang on, and there's actually a formula for it, you know, we call it pain, vision, um, you know, and, and, and like commitment and goals and, and like this, this, you know, just that little simple thing of, of the way you changed having conversations with people, one will make you more sales and two will save you so much more time. Um, and you still, you still come out like you're the good guy because you're the only one that's ever listened to them. Yes, you know, that's so, yeah, and they don't even know that, right? They don't even know that you're doing that to them. Um, yeah, yeah. 
yeah. that was a, you know that was a big thing for you right no, it was huge it was huge and and like you say everyone's a winner out of that so suddenly my time was freed up uh the cost of sales dropped dramatically um but at the end result was the the new client felt great they were getting a really good service because they were being listened to and they were actually seeing um, the solution it goes right back to your point around the google maps right they um yeah i don't know if it, you know the map's useless if you don't know where you are currently at um yeah uh, Know where your destination is so really smart stuff so scott um in terms of uh, people reaching out and finding out more about digital influence um what's the best um place to find you best place is um connect on linkedin i reckon like um search me on linkedin uh i, I love being on linkedin i love sharing content on there obviously you can go to our website it's, it's getdigitalinfluence.com um um but yeah, LinkedIn's a great place to, to connect and just say that, hey, message me and say you're on a on a call with Matt. And yeah, um, yeah I love I love connecting on LinkedIn and, and I love uh, sharing on that platform as well. Yeah, no, you, you put out some amazing content. So definitely connect up with Scott because um, it's so much value. Um, I really enjoy the videos and the information that you guys provide. It's really, really good. Um, and again, uh, it's also a testament to the fact that you are a practitioner, right? So you're out there doing it. Um, yeah. Going back to the point where I see a lot of so-called gurus and experts who are absolutely atrocious at putting out content um, <laughs> and often don't. You know, like they, they tell yeah. us how important it is to put stuff out there, but they don't do any of it themselves. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's That's that's one of my bugbears, right? Like, uh, you know, you'll get people telling you, stuff and then you go and they're not even doing it themselves right well what's the point of that how can i how can i have a conversation with uh mm -hmm. with my clients if i'm not even yeah. doing it okay how can i tell them to do it i'm going to tell them that like right now doing webinars um yeah. to qualify people and, and make more sales is a is a good thing to do if i'm not doing it right it's yeah. it's kind of you know you, you've got no credibility integrity if you're doing that sort of stuff but the fact is as well like it's it does get you clients you know like uh uh, you know, like LinkedIn's a funny one, right? Like people, like they'll PM you, like private message you. You know, we're, we're doing some business in Australia at the moment with a, with a reasonably sized company, right? And it all came from LinkedIn. It came from, you know, me putting out video content, that person then contacting me. We then had a conversation uh, and, and just how we could help, you know, how we could help. We yep. then went into strategy and now we're doing business with them in Australia, you know, like I, you know, I didn't go to Australia to see them, nothing mm -hmm. like that, you know, it's just, and, and, you know, that's about, a, you know, becoming an expert and a person of influence, like putting out content like that is, yep. is a great way to do it. And it just shows you that you shows whoever's watching that you've got the chops, right? They, they want to know. And it's, they're going to become so important because, you know, as things get tighter, people are going to be, you know, and this person really helped me, you know. And also, yeah. one of the things I think you want to focus on now is what is the result? You know, you focus mm. on the result that your clients want. You know, mm. too many people, um, you know, focus on the product. Um, and mm. it's not actually the product that people want. They want the result. And so so from a marketing perspective, um, and this is, you know, uh, been sharing a bit about this lately, is your marketing makes you the money, your product holds the money, okay? So the marketing, the marketing will get you through this crisis, okay? Your marketing of your business will get you through this crisis, and the product that you have will hold your money, right? Too many people focus on the product that will make them the money. It's like you'll get out if your competitors have a better marketing system than you, you're gone, right? They will beat you. They don't even have to have the better. I'm not saying you should have a, a rubbish product either, by the way. If you've got a product that's good, um, but your competitors might have a product that's not as good, uh, but they'll outmarket you. And I've seen this time and time again. I saw this in the, in the GFC and I saw it in the earthquake. The people, the business owners with the better marketing system, they actually help people go from here to here, uh, and to get them the result and promise that result and show them that result will beat the guys with a better product, which is sad, but that's just what the reality of what's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. I think that's a really epic point to to wrap up on because I know you are producing tons of content on that very point at the moment on LinkedIn. Um, mm. I'm going to... Um, cut and edit this video and share it like wildfire and i think what you've just hit on there is is so important and i think it's a really good um 
underscore as to why they should be reaching out to you and the team um, at Digital Influence, because I think right now is possibly the most important time ever to get all of your ducks in a row and to lean heavily on the experts who know what they're doing. So, Scott, thank you so much for your time today. What was it, man? Um, you know, yeah, it's, uh, really part of our, it's part of our core values, influencer education. Yeah. We totally believe, you know, fully, it's one of our core, like, I, I honestly believe you get better client if you influence mm -hmm. them on, on the value of doing business with you in, a, in advance by just giving them information that can help them. So, you know, um, that's why we do what we do. Yeah, no, it's, it's brilliant. It's um, just kind of living by your words, which is um, very refreshing in these times, I think. So, Epic, thank you very much for your time. All right. uh, and look, uh, once we're um, out of this, um, uh, it'll be great to catch up over a coffee sometime. Totally, man. No worries. Awesome. All right. Okay. Cheers, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.